And I think it's pretty clear that I was correct on my other video that it is after the top of the Pianista Trail. And you can see that this rock right here is exactly the same as the rock that is in the um, new video.
All right, guys, I wanted to show you um, some pictures that I found of this guy right here. He hiked the Pianist Trail, and the reason why I wanted to show you this is because these are pictures um, throughout the whole entire trail of how a person would normally take pictures on a trail. Like I had said before, I feel like something's kind of odd with how few pictures um, Chris and Lisanne took, as well as they only took selfies and took very few pictures of things along the trail. It just seems very odd to me. And so I kind of wanted to just show you uh, how a normal person takes pictures along this trail. And so we're going to go through that right now. This guy goes um, all the way to the top. Um, the few of these pictures are kind of out of not sequenced properly. Um, maybe that's uh, maybe Boquette is just has a curse of uh, things that are out of alignment with uh, timing or something. But anyway, here we go. So as we go through here, this is the beginning of a part of the trail. This one is out of alignment because this is after the bridge. So there's the first little water crossing, which everybody likes to take a picture of, you know, them walking across this little tiny uh, bridge and stuff, which you would have thought that Chris and Sand would have taken pictures of that um, for sure. There's the guy and who took these pictures or actually uh, I'm not sure I wanted to find out I'm not sure obviously he didn't take these pictures either somebody was with him I don't know whether he uh, was with a guide and the guide took all the pictures this uh, guy anyway here is the I think is the this guy down here I think but anyway so that's looking back um, the other way kind of back toward the beginning of the trail that's down the river, standing on top of the bridge. And we go through this part. Then we get to that bridge. And then we get to that picture. For some reason, everybody takes a picture of this so the other possibility here is this is actually the guide and this guy down here which we'll take a look at see this guy is much older than this guy here it looks like to me so my guess is, is that this guy is actually the guide what i was trying to say earlier about the uh bridge picture this this one here that my guess would be that he knew about the Chris Kramer's and Lasanne Froon pictures that he had seen them and maybe he took the same pictures um, just um, just because he had seen them that's um, a possibility as a just as well as this one over here because he also knew about this picture um, so maybe he um, somehow knew of uh, those spots and so he decided to take the same pictures that's um, the other possibility I think that's a better possibility now that I have looked a little closer at this guy uh, realizing that that must be the the guide that's in front and then this guy actually was taking the pictures which would make more sense because he would be in the back following the guide but anyway the sh showing uh, this picture this is a really pretty uh, waterfall and a really pretty area through here and i'm surprised that they did take more pictures um, through here because it's a really pretty area then as you're walking up through this area 
not sequenced pro properly. And then we start to get past. Then we're already we're past the uh, the clearing with uh, where Chris and Lasand were. That's already past that, I believe. And this is one of the pictures, once again, where I was saying the same thing, that uh, this is where we saw um, a picture of Chris, where she's standing with her one eye closed as well. So why would somebody else take a picture in that exactly the same spot, which is uh, kind of interesting. Then you get to the jungle, and there are then lots of pictures, of interesting pictures of the jungle. And this is why I bring this up, just because there are just would be so many amazing pictures of things to take, of things that you would never see you know, normally, just amazing pretty jungle pictures. struggling to get down a steep part as I was saying there's just so many uh, just pictures of amazing uh, jungle things to take pictures of and they really didn't take any photos at all of the jungle which surprises me other than, you know, they took a couple pictures of, you know, just a very few, you know, those little slot sections, but that was it. But that's very surprising that they didn't take more, just general pictures. And there's a picture from the top. Yep, some pictures from the top. That's very pretty. Looks like reminds me of Hawaii. There's a picture on the top still. I might be going down the other side. Muddy part. Lots and lots of lots of leaves. So like I was saying before, and we're back to the beginning. So as well as um, this was also something that the Dutch guy talked about. Feliciano liked to put these uh, rainbows into his photos. And it's also possible that maybe even Feliciano uh, was the person who guided this guy on his trip that's very possible which would also would make sense why some of these pictures he picked certain pictures that he took exactly the same ones with Chris and Lasan and then put them on the camera that's a very good possibility but the last thing I was going to say was just with how Chris and Lasan only took selfies or, you know, a few things at the top that were not selfies, but they just took, you know, pictures of each other individually. Besides that, the other pictures of them with selfies, it just, you don't take pictures. It just doesn't make sense to me why they didn't take more pictures of things. When you take pictures of, of selfies, you usually use your phone. And then when you take pictures of stuff, that's what you use your camera for. And I also realize this guy's camera also, for some reason, is always out of focus right in the middle. But anyway, that's something I wanted to go over. Um, were just these pictures of this guy randomly hiking the Pianista Trail. I do find it very interesting, though, that, that some of these same pictures are... Are exactly the same 
taken exactly in the same spots that were on the camera of uh, Chris and Lasanne. So that's uh, kind of interesting. So let's go on to the next part of doing testing some of the timeline. Okay, the first part I wanted to test was from the bridge, which this is just on the bridge, to this picture here, which is the nice little open area. And so roughly it should be the six minutes and 21 seconds plus another six, sec six seconds. So if they can make it from here to this area in roughly six minutes, um, that would be good. So that's what we're going to test that first. So here we go. Also, I um, sped up the whole thing so you don't have to sit there through the whole thing, but it actually still counted the same. So it will count sped up so you know the actual correct time, but it is not real time in the respect of you don't have to sit there for six minutes or any of the other stuff so you don't have to sit there through the whole thing but it's all counted in the correct time sped up Okay, next I want to test between this picture, number 486, and I want to go to see how long it takes to go to this picture over here. So it should be at least 16 minutes and 29 seconds plus a couple seconds there, the 4 and the 8 seconds. So if it's roughly um, takes 16 minutes to get to this spot then we should be good.
Okay, next I want to test between this picture here of number 489 to this log of 491. And hopefully, um, if it's anywhere between 10 minutes, somewhere in there, then that, that is, that would be good. So as you can tell, the new video, <clears throat> the, this area has changed quite a bit. Um, either, you know, they've had a lot of water or they've changed stuff around or, or something. So this log and this kind of thing um, is not there anymore at this little river area. So that is something that maybe uh, the Imperfect Plan guys... Hopefully they will address this, um, be able to still figure out, can still like trying to actually find um, anything that they can figure out that that looks similar to this picture. I mean, there's not a lot there that you can actually like, that will probably stay the same. So that's going to be a little bit difficult to know, other than the fact that we know that there is a river there and the timing is generally correct if if the timing was right this should be in the same spot because the trail hasn't changed but obviously the this 
this little log and this kind of stuff has changed over time. All right, the next part that I went to um, test is the uh, image from um, 491 to essentially the top of the Pinista Trail. So, which would be roughly about 39 minutes plus also at least 39 minutes because from there from this picture to this picture um, it's possible that this is a top picture so it's hard to say but I believe that they said that they spent about 17 or roughly 20 minutes on the top so and this is nearing the top this picture right here so we just want to uh, test pretty much that 39 minutes to see if that's going to be close so here we go with that one
Okay, and then the next thing I wanted to uh, test was image um, 504 to image 505. So that really should only be um, 14 minutes from, from there to here. And I think it's pretty clear that I was correct on my other video that it is after the top of the Pianista Trail. And you can see that this rock right here is exactly the same as the rock that is in the um, new video. And so I would have to say that is like almost identical to this picture. So yay me, I think that's correct. I think that that is pretty undeniable that that is the same. Also, that was very surprising that it only took just about um, to the um, from this picture to this little uh, rock with the <clears throat> little interesting opening. Um, it didn't take very long. So why did it take them 14 minutes and 13 seconds to get from here to here? So that's kind of interesting. I guess it would probably mean that either they spent more time up on top, so they didn't uh, just, you know, take this picture and then start walking. They must have spent more time up on top, which also would change our other time over here the uh, 17 minutes so that would change that time to being longer of uh, that they spent longer than the 17 17 minutes and 51 seconds plus the other few snapshots that they took which were all in seconds there's that one four minute one but they must have also spent at least another up on top before they started heading down. So it was, that's a good way to be able to know um, they spent more time up there than originally thought, which is kind of interesting. We're able to tell that by the timing. So they spent a little more time up on top than uh, originally thought. And as well as if you do look at the Imperfect Plan website, they do have some interesting um, other information on the top of some cell phone pictures, apparently, that were, I guess, were taken on top. Um, but they don't have any images, obviously. But they say that they were, they think they're from the top of the Manador. But um, who knows for sure, because we'll probably never see those. But we can f certainly say for sure that from image 504 to 505 doesn't take very long to get to this spot. Okay, on this next one, I wanted to compare um, the image 505 to 506. And there's only six seconds between Lisanne has to walk all the way down here and turn the corner in six seconds. And so I really wanted to see whether this one uh, is possible. This is one of the few um, images that I think is 
a little iffy in respect of um, timing. So let's do, uh, let's see how long it takes Hugo here to uh, walk all the way down past the rock and turn the corner here and see if uh, it takes only six seconds. So even though you can tell that uh, this picture here, or at least Anne was probably actually farther away than the uh, other image of um, the, the new video, it still takes the other um, guy actually longer to move this distance. We don't exactly know what the distances are because I don't know um, what the uh, cell phone, the size of his lens, but just by knowing that this is a 24 millimeter lens and the other uh, cell phone would probably i would imagine that probably is very similar probably as wide angle or even wider um, if you look at the uh, video that this rock was even a little bit closer so he should have easily been able to do that and make it in six seconds and looked like he was not able to do make it in just six seconds. Um, the other thing is, is it's a little difficult to t tell um, if it this was the same. You couldn't see um, this log because he had it vertical mode, and you couldn't. I think you could see this little log here that was been decaying for a while, but this part I couldn't see, which I really wanted to see this part. But it still looks as though that I don't see how they could have walked that far in just six seconds. Okay, now uh, let's test this last one. So it takes, we want to test from 506 to image 507 and see how long it takes to get from here to this water this little water crossing which should be another 14 minutes and a little over over 11 seconds plus the eight seconds so somewhere about hopefully over 14 minutes so let's see how that um, plays out on this next next part
Alrighty, there's the last one. So that's very interesting that the uh, um, the other guy that did this new video um, did that part of the trail in just 21 minutes and 43 seconds, I would say. So it looks like um, either Chris and Lisanne are like incredibly fast hikers or there's something not quite right. Um, you know, maybe it was, you could say, a slight difference in time if, uh, you know, if the trail is wet as opposed to dry. It might be a little bit easier, um, you know, to maneuver around the trail. I mean, you definitely can tell from the few pictures that we have that things weren't quite as wet. Um, but I don't know if it would change and make it that different from 14 minutes and 11 seconds um, all the way to uh, 21 minutes and 43 seconds. Um, I am not sure that that would make that big of a difference. So here we go. Let me know what you guys think about the uh, new this new timeline and how uh, our test went. So not only is the timing a little odd, I think of all the pictures to compare between original uh, Chris and Lasanne pictures and the new video pictures, um, this one is one of those that is very interesting just because it's changed so much. I don't know if just because of the, uh, the all the years it's been as this, this, this changes or is this somewhere else? I just don't think that something like rock like this size would change. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe the, you know, it gets crazy downpours and maybe, you know, gigantic boulders maybe, you know, move down, uh, you know, the river. But that uh, usually, to me, doesn't usually happen. Usually rocks that are there are usually they're just always there. And so to see something like this as opposed to this just is a bit surprising. It just seems very different. It just doesn't look the same to me. I don't know if like these two large rocks down here, if that's these, and then this is all just changed. Maybe there's, you know, more water, which is possible because this is a pretty large rock and this is a much, a little sharper rock, but then they're still backwards. But anyway, just noticing that these pictures are quite different. Now, if you look back at the old video of when the parents took off the hike with Feliciano and they made it to this section, it did look very similar. Um, you could tell by the plants on this wall that there, there was a big rock here and there was um, the same plants and the same path was, was the same and there were a lot of things that were the same um, when they uh, traveled to this, this spot. But now <clears throat> that seems to be um, quite different if this is the same spot. Hopefully the uh, imperfect plan guys will go over this um, and will be able to take some more in-depth pictures and be able to see if this is truly the same or whether this is a, com a completely different spot. I don't know. It just... Uh, very interesting to see the difference between the two and it, it's obviously not you can't see everything and all the just can't see everything all at once so <clears throat> hopefully the uh, imperfect plan guys will uh, will be able to shed some light on this but for right now i'm just surprised at how different it is as well as like i said before the timing seems to be a little off as well that's uh it for now don't forget to subscribe so you get to stay up to date on all my content. And don't forget, as usual, that every time you click the like button, a tear forms in Feliciano's eyes.